All right, guys, it's 2023, and they've taken away all the fun ways to serve. My goose is cooked. What now? Actually, the same principles that, that I've held for, for a while on serving still ring true. The number one thing that we want on our serve is depth to try and keep our opponent away from the kitchen. But here's a way that servers are getting an advantage in 2023. Depth is our first priority. And obviously it's always great to have a little bit of pace, but now what we really want is some height. When we hit a line drive serve, our opponent only has to hit on one plane. The ball is traveling to our opponent on that same line drive. However, if I add shape and height to the ball, the ball is coming up as they're hitting. Thank you to Pickle and Social for sponsoring this video. Pickle and Social is a premier pickleball entertainment facility and they're coming across the nation to you. So when I'm returning a line drive, I can swing and the ball is coming straight into my hitting zone. But when I'm returning a serve that has kick to it, that has height, now I have to time it both on the X axis and on the Y axis, which is gonna make my return a lot more difficult and that's how you can generate short returns, which is the ultimate objective of serving. So here are a couple of line drive serves. A, it's difficult to get the proper depth when we are hitting on a line drive because little differences in our paddle angle will have a large impact on where this ball goes. It's really difficult to make a line drive serve into the back of the court consistently. Nice. So you can see, even when I'm hitting a serve relatively hard, it's not difficult to time because the ball is coming in a, basically in a straight direction towards the returner. It's not coming at them as well as bouncing upwards. So now what I'm gonna try and do is, I'm gonna try and add a little bit of height to this serve and make my opponent hit on two axes. Axes, axes, axes. Leave a comment below. Is it axes, axes, I don't know. Axi, oh, axi, it could be axi. I'm dying to know. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I'm gonna try and add a little bit of height to these serves now and still get them deep. Dang. Dude, your returns are sick. Try to act stupid on a couple of these. <laughs> Those are good returns. There we did. There it is. <laughs> How do I execute this higher and heavier serve? So if we're hitting on a line drive, our swing is going to be on a line drive. We're going to be kind of on our front foot hitting this ball. But what you noticed is on some of these last shots, I was actually on my back foot a little bit. I'm still transferring my weight forward, but I'm really focusing on loading on this back foot. And you can even see when I'm hitting flat, my shoulders stay kind of flat. My shoulders are in a straight line. When I'm trying to really get underneath this ball, you'll notice my shoulders are helping me get underneath the ball. My shoulders are on a upwards trajectory. So when we're trying to do this, we're gonna really focus on loading on that back foot and getting underneath the level of the ball as opposed to being behind the ball. A drill that we can do for this is just focusing on trying to get that ball four or five or even six feet above the level of the net. If we can do that, that's gonna make our opponent hit on two different planes. All right, so here are a couple line drives.
All right, now here's, uh, here's some arcing ones. <laughs> Hobie, go. One more. Oh, oh, that was a good one. If you liked today's video, please feel free to share it with a friend and make sure to subscribe. It helps me out and helps me grow my channel.